Moving on with the oil leak story on this Royal Enfield Constellation. I've got my electric heat gun there to warm the crankcase up a little bit in the area where the leaks seem to be coming from. And I've also got an old cut off, actually it's from a bullet rocker oil feed pipe which I've bolted on to the union there. And I've got it connected to a plastic bit of pipe which fits nicely on the end of the nozzle of my oil can. And what I've been doing is with the crankcase area down there, nice and warm, I've been pumping oil under pressure from the oil can. And bear in mind that that's not a very high pressure side of the system because it's the rocker oil feed, so um, there isn't any great resistance, so there wouldn't be any great pressure either. I'm sure that the oil can can probably replicate a lot of the or maybe most of or all of the pressure that that side of things would normally be under. And um, all was going well for a while. And I thought, you know what, I think most of the oil leaks that I've been seeing have probably been an accumulation of what's come from higher up. But it might just be possible to see there, I'm trying to point with the end of my screwdriver actually, but when I was pumping oil in, with the heat gun going and that area of the crankcase is nice and hot. It's got a little bit wet and oily looking there. Right between where the cylinder barrels fit. And unfortunately that does look like a leak from the crankcase joint. It would have been awful if I'd stripped this engine right down unnecessarily had it just been down to stuff from the base gaskets and maybe higher up from the rocker box covers and so on. But it really is starting to look now as if we've got a leak from the crankcase joint there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other head and the barrel off as well. I've got that plugged there because that, that connects with the um, rocker oil feed line. And oil was blowing out of that until I plugged it. So uh, I'll have to do similar on the other side when I've got the head and the barrel off. And then um, I'll be able to make absolutely certain that the leak is coming from the crankcase joint because with both heads and barrels out the way if I do the same again and get oil appearing there well it's a no-brainer and the engine will have to come out and be split to sort it out so that's where I'm at, at the moment but um, it's quite a good way I think of identifying whether a top end strip is going to be enough or whether a full engine strip is going to be on the cards to deal with such an oil leak and it looks like we're in for the full strip down, unfortunately. But there we go, that's life.